Hello and welcome to the Zim JavaScript Canvas Framework. We're going to show you some examples of Zim at zimjs.com and I'm Dr. Abstract. Let's go to the site now, zimjs.com. We'll click on examples and we'll scroll on down until we see the texture packer example. Yeah, well, there it is. It's a guy walking. Woohoo! <laughs> That's all he does. He walks. I think he pauses. Yeah, <laughs> and walks and pauses. Now, uh, what we did is, is this this brings in what's called a sprite sheet, and that's a bunch of pictures that you can make with Texture Packer. It's the most famous one for, for doing that kind of thing. And there's a CreateJS or EaselJS export setting, so you can export right into uh, Zim. Now, this is actually a Phaser.js, which is a game engine made in HTML5 uh, based on Pixie. It's a Phaser example. And I looked at it and went, all right, well, we can do that too. So we did that in Zim, and it took 60% of the code. So in other words, uh, of the Phaser code. So that means it's almost half as big as the Phaser code um, to bring in a sprite sheet and run it like this. Not only that, we've got these new things called dynamos, which are dynamic sprites that change speed uh, depending on various input, like where the mouse is or whatever you want, really. You can even animate the, the speed differences. So that's shown in the space example in Zim. So this was an earlier one, just sort of like, hey, look, Phaser shows you how to do this. We can do it in less than Zim. There's a guy walking. <laughs> okay, so come on into Zim and see how you can make this at zimjs.com. And have a great day. I am Dr. Abstract. Uh, and if it's nighttime, well, you have a great night. Ciao.